me and my pimple. That looks like a sexy mole. We are vlogging today, like we do every day. I'm whispering. I don't know why I'm whispering. I finally got a new microphone. Look, it's like a pet. The old microphone that I had was, I had to manually turn it on each time I was gonna vlog and then manually turn it off. And there are so many times I forgot to turn it on. And so I would vlog and it wouldn't record any sound. So this one doesn't need a battery and it turns on and off with the camera. So this is gonna save me that heartache of recording and being all like, yay, I'm vlogging. And then going to edit that footage and then realizing that there's no fucking sound. I just want to see if I am doing a quick audio check just to see how this sounds. I just changed the settings, the sound settings. So let's see. Who do I want to be today? What kind of bitch do I want to be? I think I'm going to wear my black shorts. Feeling that. Yep. Yep. Feels right. I'm gonna do weight training and the treadmill today. So I don't really need a ton of daily support. Yes, queen. I need some socks. Oh, these have holes in them. Lovely. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Grab your shoes, Riley, surely. I got this top at Old Navy for 15 bucks, and I love. I have the AC on. I hope it's not too loud. I hope you guys can't hear it. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this. But I wanted to talk today about, I am someone that has a really hard time with patience and being loving and patient towards myself and really giving myself an opportunity to like succeed. I feel like I get really frustrated really fast and I throw in the towel really quickly. And I'm talking specifically when it comes to weight loss. I feel like in the past I was holding myself to, I, it's like I was comparing myself to a younger me you know, like Fernanda in her early 20s, when I would literally just go for walks around the block and I'd lose weight really fast. Now that I'm older, I'm turning 35 in like less than two weeks on August 1st. I'm a Leo, biatch. I've realized that my body has changed so much and it's a slower journey, but it's, I've mentally, I feel like I've changed so much because I've learned to be more patient with my body, more loving with my body, more accepting of my body and learning not to get discouraged and learning that, that the number on the scale doesn't tell a full story. I feel like as women, we've been so conditioned and wired to think that if the number on the scale isn't like ridiculously low, then we are elephants and that is so not true. I would say, I I started working out really consistently in about mid-May. I signed up for F45. I go to LA Fitness as well and I do my own workout. And then I, what else, what else do I do? I'll go to yoga, I'll do my home workouts. I like to mix it up and do different things. I started tracking my calories. For the first month, month and a half, the scale was not moving. And I started to get really, really discouraged because I felt like, what the fuck? What is going on here? I'm busting my ass. I am eating in a caloric deficit. If I slip up, it's usually like one or two days out of the week and it's not that extreme. I don't fall off the wagon that hard. So what's going on? So I started to get discouraged. And then I remember that I took my measurements at the beginning of January. And so I thought, okay, I feel like my body's changing. I feel like my clothes is fitting differently. I feel firmer. I feel like looking at photos from even just April, my face has thinned out a bit. I started to feel all these physiological changes, but obviously the skin was like, yeah, not much changes here. And so, you know, I remembered that I took my measurements in January and I looked in my note and then I took my measurements again. Like this was like three weeks ago and I took my measurements again and I had lost two inches off my waist, like an inch and a half off my hips. I had lost inches. So moral of the story is 
fuck the scale. It's disrespectful. It doesn't tell the full story. And you gotta just let your body do its thing and stay focused and motivated and make the changes for yourself because it, you wanna make changes and because you wanna feel yourself getting stronger mentally and physically. I am just like, I feel like the reason that I wasn't really losing weight before is because I just wasn't being patient. I wasn't giving my body a chance to calibrate and do its thing. I think today is July 20th. I have no concept of time. Today is July 20th. I weighed myself like a week ago and I lost five pounds, five pounds. And that's weird because for the longest time the scale wasn't moving. So bodies are weird, they're different. The moral of the story is just be patient with your body, love it. Be patient with your body and have like a real reason as to why you wanna lose weight and make these big lifestyle changes. Because before I always felt like, oh, well, I just wanna look hot for summer, or I wanna look hot for a guy, or I wanna look sexy, because I feel like everybody wants me to look this way. But now that I kind of, now that I feel like I wanna look good for myself and that I wanna implement these changes because I am turning 30, Five! Holy shit, that is insane. Like, I am still a baby to myself. I And I'm like halfway to 40 now, that's- That's, that's weird. It did make me feel like I'm maturing, I'm growing. I wanna go into the next decade. Granted, it's like five years away, but I'm, I wanna feel strong and sexy and not feel like every year. There's certain milestones that for me made me feel really shitty and low. They made me feel kind of like, great, Fernanda, once again, you did not accomplish your goal. And that was my birthday and Christmas where I was always like three to five pounds heavier every year for maybe like the last five, six years. And it made me feel sad and it made me feel depressed. It made me feel like I just, I can't achieve this goal. There's nothing I can do. And even though five pounds isn't, wow, that's not like incredible, amazing. It could have just been a big poo, who knows? <laughs> My thing is that to me, it's so much more, it's mental. It's like my body feels stronger. I feel stronger. I've made going to work out a daily habit in any capacity, even if I'm tired or on my period, I'm like, okay, we'll just walk really gently on the treadmill. Something to just keep consistent. Cause for me, the biggest thing is consistency. My biggest goal isn't to have like a blowout, amazing 10 out of 10 workout each time. My biggest goal is to be consistent because I feel like the minute I stop being consistent, then I start to make excuses, it snowballs and I start to eat bad. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. All that being said, I am actually on my way to the gym right now. I'm gonna do a quick lunchtime workout. I've been doing F45, but I like to mix it up and do my own thing sometimes too. I like to keep variety in the mix. You're probably wondering, why don't you just drive and talk? I don't have a car mount yet. I need to buy one. I'm actually gonna do that this week. So that's why I am parked, in case you were wondering. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Bye.